Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So, hey guys. Um, I'm really not sure when I'm uploading this video. So, it might be in a few months. Um, it might be in a few weeks. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, I'm making this video because... I might be <laughs> moving to America for a year. Where do I start? <laughs> How do I explain this? <laughs> it's not that hard to explain, but where do I start? Um, okay. Okay, so let's just start at the beginning. Um, last year, last school year, I mean, I kept seeing ads for this certain um, program which is called cultural care au pair which is an au pair program about becoming an au pair and moving to America for a year and I always said that I wanted to do it I always said I really want to go to America sometime and I just to go as an au pair would be amazing my mom did it as well and she absolutely loved it she really loved it living in America for a year and taking care of kids as an au pair and because my mom did it I got the idea as well and I said I want to do that too so last year I finally decided to sign up because I was finally old enough to sign up and I knew that I would be able to go eventually um, before I signed up, I made a promise to myself that I first was going to... Um, I, yeah, I first made a promise to myself that I was first going to finish my school. And that I first wanted to um, get my diploma so that um, I could go and work if I wasn't able to go. But... Um, I did that so um, yeah I made that promise to myself and then I signed up I'm so sorry if this is a very confusing story <laughs> um, I signed up around like I think it was December 2020 and then the process started um, yeah I got in contact with people who work at that um, program or at that agency and I started talking to them about what I needed to do, what they needed for me, and what perhaps could be expected for me. And then I started the journey, basically. Um, I filled in all the forms that I needed to fill in, I filled in everything that I uh, had to fill in, and I sent them to the agency. Um, I made a profile on that website, and it all just went from there, basically. Um, I got in contact with someone um, very short after that again. She called me and said that my profile was ready, they were going to review it here, and then um, and that I needed to um, have a talk with someone first before they could send my profile to America to get it evaluated there. Um, so not a week after that call I had an appointment with someone who worked there for um, this and we talked for I think it was like an hour and we discussed a few things, just some random things. Um, I had to talk in English because they of course had to know if I'm able to talk in English because I'm going to America so I need to talk English. So yeah we had a conversation about the most random things, we just jumped from uh, topic to topic and just some random stuff. and. Um, we talked in English because she just needed to know what my level in English was and that was ready. She um, wrote a, a document. She put it on my profile and they reviewed my profile here in the Netherlands. It got approved and they sent it to America to get it approved there as well. And not even a week later it got approved, which meant that I was finally able to go look for a family. So um, my profile went public and I had to wait until a family sent me a contact request. Um, I got a contact request from a family very sh uh, quickly, but um, we talked for a while. But we decided that it wouldn't be good, that it wouldn't be a good match, and sh they also um, 
found another au pair so it wasn't a match and so I just kept talking and talking and talking to like different families to whoever sent me a contact request on the site and that went on for I think it was four ish months um, I signed up in December I started talking to families at the end of January the beginning of February and it is now halfway through July so it's been a few months and um, I've talked to a lot of different families from all over America, like in a lot of different states, and yeah. Um, sorry. <laughs> and then this week I got a um, contact request from a family and I accepted it, of course, because I really liked uh, the family and I really liked... Um, yeah, I really like them. I only saw pictures at first and I read some uh, information, but I really, really liked them. And I was like, you know what? We're just going to accept this and we're going to talk with them. So I did. And we talked for the first time, I think it was Tuesday. No, Monday. No, no, we talked for the first time on Tuesday. It was a very short call, but it was a very good call. And I really liked them. And apparently they liked me, so that was good. Um, yeah, we had a short call and... It went very well and then we decided to schedule another call this time with our daughter as well um, and that was today on Thursday what day is it today today it is July 15th and we uh, had that call around 12 45 p.m. today and it was a really good call we um, called we talked about a lot of things, like what they were looking for in an au pair, um, what I'm looking for like in, in, in a family, and just some random stuff. And they showed me around the house and stuff, and it just was a very, very great call. And I got to meet their daughter, which is... She's the cutest. <laughs> she didn't really talk a lot, because of course, like, nerves, shy, and she's still a kid, and she doesn't know me. And we talked through a phone, so of course she wasn't talking to me, but... I expected that, so I was totally fine with it, but she was the cutest. So they showed me around the house, and we talked a bit, and then, well, we had to hang up because um, they had to go to work because it was 6.45 a.m. where they live, <laughs> and it's it was like 12.45 p.m. here, so there's a big time difference. I think it's like six hours, but yeah, um, it was a very good call, and then um, a few minutes ago, they, um, I asked them if they were also talking to um, different au pairs because that's just something that I like to know. So then I'm like, if I like a family, I'd like to know if they're talking to multiple people at a time. So if, um, if it's not going to happen, then I know why and yeah, then I can sort of prepare myself for something. But um, I asked that and they told me that they were talking to a few others, but they were... Um, that they've discussed it and that they feel really certain about me and that they said so if you think we uh, I'll just I'll just read the message and I'll see what I put in the end eventually um she sent me a message and she said hi Sana thank you so much for uh, thanks for your messages we're so glad you're still interested we are talking to other au pairs at the moment but we discussed it and we actually feel really certain about you so if you think we are the right family for you we would love to move forward and start making plans for you to come here let us know if you're ready to decide or if you want more time to think about it including another video call by the way, you mentioned being open to feedback and we wanted you to know that we are... Oh, it's not that important. Oh, also, um, I asked them how, what their views are on the LGBTQ plus community and they're very open to them, so that's amazing. They're very supportive and that's just amazing. And she also said in a message, also, because you brought up LGBTQ plus, I also, I always wanted to go to the Pride Parade. If you want to go next summer, Thea and I will go with you. So that's just fucking adorable that's so cute but um <coughs> sorry <coughs> but basically in the message it said that they feel very certain about me and if i were to say yes that it would be a match but they also told me that if i wanted to um think about it for a, a while longer then that was totally fine too so I actually don't really know what to do right now because I really, really like them and I really like talking to them and I can actually see myself like living there. But I'm also talking to another family right now, but they 
haven't been that responsive lately, which sucks, but I really want to go to this family. So I don't know if I should say yes right now or if I should just talk to my parents first. <laughs> so um, I don't know what I need to do. I really want to say yes, but I don't know, man. This is hard. I should just do it. I really should. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I found my family. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this has been... This literally has been a month... A, like, a journey that's been going on for months. And if I say yes right now, then the actual journey can start. And also, like, this family seems amazing. Like, I really feel like we are... Oh my god. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> Guys. Okay, I did it. I did it. Ah. I matched with and with a family, and that was very exciting because that meant that I was actually going and that it was actually real. <laughs> so long story short, very long story short, I'm gonna go to America for a year. Hell yeah! Going to a place which is very close to New York City. So, that's insane. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really, 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 really excited. But it hasn't like fully registered to me yet that I'm actually going to America for a year and not coming home for a year. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys are excited. And if you guys like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And then you guys will see me in one of my next videos. Bye, guys. We've been dancing for so long under the stars. I feel that the grass will cut through my skin. All the bills we take up seem to prolong.